Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open a second JFrame using a first JFrame in your Eclipse GUI application. So for example, I want to open a second JFrame, for example, employee info JFrame, whenever user has passed the login test, for example, username and password is correct, then I want to open a second JFrame. Okay, so how can I do it? I will show you in this video. But first of all, I need a second J frame, right? So I need to create the second J frame. So I will go to my project or I will, I will go to my source folder of my project. Company is my project name and this is SRC is the source folder of my project. Right click new and go to others and in here, search for window builder and search for swing designer but this time we will not select application window we will select this time a j frame application window uh, will create a main method inside your j frame and the main method could be only one right and this j frame is a just a frame other frame so you need to choose in this swing designer j frame right so select just J frame, click next and give the name to your class. I give my, uh, give the name to my class as employee, employee, is it correct? Or let's say what can be, sometimes I get confused in the spelling. So once again, employee info okay so my class name is employee info because i am dealing with the employee database right so i want to show the employee data in the second form okay so i will name my uh, class name accordingly and i will click finish and this will create a second form for me which is a blank form which is called employee info dot java you can see here I go to my design view of this uh, class with, uh, which is employee info dot Java. I will double click on this employee info dot Java so I can see this. And for now I will just show some message. I will take a label but before that I need to have this absolute layout inside this. And then I will put the label and I will just say second form for now okay and maybe I can uh, just resize it so we will be able to see the message and maybe I will change the font size so that it's visible okay so I want to open this frame from my login frame right so if you remember we have written a code to uh, login uh, username and uh, username and password validate username and password and whenever we click this login button uh, we will be able to see the message if the username and password is correct or not so just click this uh, login button once again and this was the code which i have written so if you don't remember this code just uh, see my last videos in which I have shown you how to create a login page and in here where my validation is correct where I'm showing username and password is correct I want to open the new frame which is employee info frame right and I want to close this frame okay so first of all I want I will close this frame how can I close this frame just take the name of your frame so the frame name is frame only you see a private j frame frame so take the name of your frame go to uh, the condition where your username and password is correct username and password is correct i was showing there and in here frame dot dispose okay this will dispose your frame or hide your frame okay and then i will call the new class so I will create an object of the new class 
my class name is employee info class right so you see here I've created this new class employee info class right so I'll write employee info I will say uh, the object name is EMPLINFO for example is equal to new employee info so I'm creating an object of this class and now I can use this object to call the set visible method which is responsible to uh, make your frame visible so I use this object which is EMPL info dot set visible and what it takes this method takes a boolean value so I want to uh, make this true to show this frame right so whenever I use this uh, true then this uh, second class will be visible for me or second frame will be visible for me so you just need to write these two lines right two or three lines and once again I will run the program click OK it will open error exist in required project let's see what is the error I can't see any error here let's see if it shows any error duplicate local IMG okay so this I think I have uh, in the last video I have uh, made shown you how to show the image and I think I have created somewhere here some image which is this I can call it image one okay now this error will not come I'll run it once again okay and connection is successful okay and username and I need to give a username and password I will give the username and password and when I click this login button I will see first of all this message username and password is correct and when I click OK you see I can see the second form and first form is disposed that means it is gone and second form is open the same thing you can do for calling the login from form from the employee form okay so for example you want to go from this form to the previous form which is the login form you can do the same with this okay so i hope you have uh, enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now